I'm getting now. Now, now. Yo, what's good? We're back on the Nebraska DLC, and today we're going from the city of Valentine to the city of Lincoln. We're running for Tractor Supply Company, delivering 14 tons of live cattle in the K100 Kenworth. We've got a super sleeper edition as well. So sit back and enjoy the ride while I take you through. Five hours and 53, 313 miles on this one. It's now 11.50 in the morning on the Tuesday in game time. So we're going to see the sights today and see what this Nebraska DLC has to offer. This is the second run in Nebraska we're doing. So the Kenworth K100 has a CAT 3408B8 600 brake horsepower engine. Running a Eaton VXP 1800 18 speed gearbox. And she's pushing out 2000 Newton meters of torque. So not super strong. The three axles powered by two. There's traffic down here, boy. See if we can put her out. We got a live stop today. The cats or the cows and ting. So yeah, this caterpillar engine sounds proper, mate. Sounds like a beast. So it's going to be a good run today. Checking out this Nebraska DLC. We've only been up to Sydney. So this one is a Valentine to Lincoln. We got a nice, crisp, fresh day for it. This truck can push is juicy. We haven't got a super heavy haul anyway. So it should be pretty plain sailing today. Stick on the cruise control. And a lane assistant. Woohoohoo! Yeah, so don't strictly rely just on the lane assistant. Because you will end up in the wall. <laughs> That's 65 on the speed limit. We're doing the young 65. 275 miles. Five hours and seven minutes. So the aim is unlock as many cities as we can. So I want to get to these grain silos so we can showcase the new unloading and loading in the grain trailers. Oh, speeding. And get to the rail yard. I think that's the biggest rail yard in the world. If my mind serves me correctly, I think that is in North Platte. Right, down to 55 on the speed limit. Or down to 40. Listen to that engine, man. Keep 
But yeah, we're sightseeing today, my Gs. We've got the X barriers still up because the mod hasn't been updated for the 1.50 version just yet. That's my pet hate, mate, seeing them bloody X's. Just ruins the immersion too much for me. Now back up to 65. So the equipment we are using is the Thrustmaster TGT wheelbase, the Sparco replica steering rim, and the TLCM load cell pedals by Thrustmaster. And we're switching gears with the Thrustmaster TSS Sparco replica handbrake mod, but in sequential mode. And we're in the next level racing GT track cockpit the PlayStation edition and that is hooked up with the butt kicker gamer 2 vibrational transducer under the seat and we're looking around the cab with the head tracker by a natural point track IR version 5 so all the equipment is listed in the description along with the PC specs we're running at 4k 60 frames with everything on high and ultra and we have the new obviously optimization and anti-aliasing and the other bits and bobs what's going on here Whoa. okay now that's the wrong button undertakers uh, undertaking the uh tracks or whatever it was there's the horn i pressed the wrong button Okay, now. And the PC specs is that's all in the, in the description as well. The weather's taking a turn for the worse, looks of it. Don't look that great. Dropping on the speed limit. Coming into town scene. Go straight on. Oh yes, this is um what we saw when we were covering the update videos. The four-leaf clover thing. It's a bit strange though, there's no road markings. They're just taking it all in. Go straight on. It looks crisp, man. This game is just getting better and better, bro. Oh, bit of frame jumpy jump there. Mergers. 35 on the speed limit. So we're just cruising through here, checking it all out. Obviously, we still have the real businesses, mods and whatnot. I think I was using about 150 mods before the update 1.50. We're down to about 70 now, 65. As there's a few that still need, I need to update. I haven't got round two yet. Looking fresh though, man. Right, the time is 2.50 in the afternoon. It's getting dark out here. It looks like it's going to rain. We've got 192 miles to go and bypass the next way station. It's got a message there behind the webcam so you can see it.
So yeah, we're finally in Nebraska, my guys. It has been long, long awaited. Three hours and 18 minutes in game time. It's 10 past three on the Tuesday. So we're in the corn husk state. A lot of agriculture around these ways. So we're running down to Lincoln. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you noticed the white smoke there. That mod's broken. Should be like obviously blacky grey. It shouldn't be that bait and that thick. So I need to update that mod when it comes. It'll get rid of it for now. So if you were wondering what mods I'm using in the game, I have got a video on the channel showing you some of the mods that I use. Some of them may be broken now, just bear that in mind if you do check it out. The names have not changed, you just need to get the 1.50, the 150 version. Otherwise your game will be crashing and all sorts. I was going on down here, dropping down to 50. Welcome to Norfolk, Norfolk discovered. Let's go. That's the only thing when you first have a new state. You've got to go around discovering all the locations so you can get the different jobs in the area. As I've only, well, I think I've only discovered three cities in Nebraska off of my first run. So after this, we should have a bit more choice. Busy round here though. City of Norfolk. Go straight on. With a cattle trailer. So we did cover all the aspects of the Nebraska DLC with the blog post updates. We've got videos on the channel. If you would like to check that out, telling you what the state has to offer and what you can expect from the DLC. Yeah, I just love the way we've got it so busy and bustling. Looks like there's a lot going on, everyone going about their business. Go straight on. Yeah, this cat engine does sound monstrous when it's pulling off. Right, I'm noticing a little bit of flickering and break up in the graphics sometimes. Not like a screen tear. Go straight on. But a couple of lines coming through. I think I've noticed that since the update. So what that's telling me is... For some reason now, it's not liking the overclock on the graphics card. It was perfectly fine, running smooth. 
bang, update, since the 150 update, now I'm clocking these jaggy lines and that come in flashing in the screen. So I'm gonna have to turn down the overclock, I think, on the core clock. So I'm gonna sort that out a bit later. Oh, okay, look. we got to do the same. That's what I moaned about earlier. Oh, what was he doing? Cutting back in behind. And he felt, thought twice about it. The road works. Up ahead. Yeah, engine sounds nice. Work zone. No passing zone. See if we're going to get through this. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, there. Red light signal offence. I swear that was green. All right, he's turning off onto the farm. So if you are feeling the content, please hit the like button and stick around. Plenty of ATS and ETS on the channel. It's a driving simulator slash RPG gaming channel. Armageddon now and the resistance blood. Oh, look at that. That looks fresh. You can see in the distance, man. No popping. Oh, spoke too soon. <laughs> Don't know if you picked that up, though, but I clocked it. Yeah, now this is a nice cruise, man. Look at the cattle. Got your cousins in the back. Taking them to Burger King, brother. It's peak. Not good. Oh, look at this. It's proper got a sense of openness. You know, this looks fresh. Oh, look, look! I don't know what happened there. Tried to undertake. Seventy on the speed limit, doing a young fifty for one hour and forty-five to we land. One hundred miles to go. It's just gone five o'clock. We should be reaching about seven. But like I said, this track, this truck can haul, even though it's not got the biggest amount of torque. Not good engine, man. Get up to 70. Wait, that baby on the cruise control. Let me get out of this lane. Oh, what's happened here? What's happened here? Wait there. But yeah, if you're um and iron about Nebraska, whether to get it or not, I definitely recommend getting it all the DLC, let alone this one. But yeah, no, this is fresh, man. It's got a proper sense of openness. Best way I can describe it. Out on the open road. Hold tight, all my Nebraskans out there anyway. Repping, come on. Watching a Brit on a ATS. Mm, yeah, that 
burble on the lower revs on this is nice. Oh yeah, this is DLC's epic, man. That's the good thing, like different road networks and stuff. Like you don't know how you normally have ramps like that. That are winding and then also going up a level as well. Yeah, it's really good. So we've got Norfolk, that's what another city ticked off that we've discovered. I think, I'm not too sure if we're going to go through another one. But obviously each city we are opening up is making more jobs available for the new companies as well. We've got the new industries on this map, with the RV center, with the quad bikes and whatnot motorhomes obviously the grain depots with the new loading and unloading and the train manufacturer as well doing the underground and overground trains largest maintenance train yard in the world I think there's 10,000 trains in and out of that yard every day something like that now we're coming off here Omaha discovered let's go even though when you first download the DLC Omaha is available for you to quick travel to just so you can get to the state but it's not um, as you see it's actually not been discovered so even though you could, could quit travel there you couldn't get any jobs or anything up off the map right oh sorry ambulance that was my bad Come on, you let me in, someone. There we go. Oh, even though he wasn't letting me in, bullied my way in. Seventy-five along here, doing a young sixty. So yeah, I think we're going to bang out a lot of Nebraska. I don't think I'm going to take part in the cruise in Nebraska at the moment. That's the um, thing SCS Software's running via the world of trucks. So we are here, I think, East Lincoln. And it's 10 to seven. Look at that sunset haze. That looks proper, mate. Yep, Lincoln discovered. Three to two bad, three cities in one run. And we got to see the sights. But yeah, Nebraska is looking epic. Can we get through it? Down the left lane. And very stable as well, I must admit. Very stable. Frame rate, optimization, a lot. Got to turn down my overclock a tad. Keep left and then turn 
Look at this. Turn left. Always hear that old rattle in this engine. It's good because this is an old truck. You let me go. Thank you. Take a bit of a wide berth here. Finally, we are here. Finally, we are here. Oh, here we go. These are the grain silos here. This is the new loading and unloading, everyone. There on the right, so you pull your trailer through there, the top comes off the top, then the grain will get loaded on. Is that our space here? I think it is. Can't see though. Yeah, that's the space. That's the space. We can even take it on the grass if we need to. To be a bit cheeky. Might as well, if the space is there, we use it, bro. Very hard to see though, I can't see fuck all. Yep, cannot see fuck all. Just trying to get them light that line in sight. Here we go. Just straighten her up. Right from the line, though. Don't feel like that. There we go. We're in. So that was the cattle market, bro. Cattle market run in Nebraska. Let's get her unloaded and get the engine switched off. Bang. Excellent. Right, live cattle delivered from Valentine to Lincoln, Nebraska. 318, 15 miles, sorry. Eight hours and 23 minutes taken. We got 507 XP base reward. Proficiency bonus, long distance bo delivery bonus, fragile cargo, obviously the livestock, 111 XP, 40 XP for the trailer maneuvering, as it was simple, it wasn't a hard one, 784 XP altogether, 20,294, and we finally hit level 43, king of the road. So yeah, that was Nebraska, that was our second run on that, we're opening the map, getting all them cities discovered, so we can get these new companies and new bits and bobs underway. Right, so if you did enjoy that one, we've got another one here for you to check out. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with some more trucking. Until next time, it's Armageddon now! and the resistance.